Hey guys, welcome to the video by DJS PRC. Today I want to talk a little bit about the high tech RDX1 AC DC 60 watt power output that the slimline does slimline design that charges pretty much any battery out there from LiPo to PB uh, basically you can charge an NIMH, a NICAD, a LiPo, a Life, a LiGV high voltage uh, with this charger here. Let's take a look at the specs here. Uh, it's an AC-DC input, basically 110 to 240. Uh, DC, it's 11 to 18 volts. Charge power is 60 watt. Charge current range is 0 0.0 amps to 6 amp. Discharge is 5 watts. Uh, discharge current range is basically 0.1 to 2 amps. Uh, it balanced to a 300 millivolt uh, per cell. Does NICAT to NIMH, 1 to 15 cell. LiPo 1 to 6 cell, PB is 2 volts to 20 volts, net weight, net weight is 470 grams, and dimension is 159 by 72.5 by 123 mil. Let's open the box and see what's inside. Now, when you open your box for the first time, you'll notice this piece of paper here. This guy is a manual. I know sometimes a lot of you won't read this, but I will suggest extremely to take a second or two to read this. Extremely important to read. There's a lot of information will tell you about the charger. I'll tell you a little bit here, but uh, this book will tell you the rest. Now, by looking in the box, we'll see what kind of connection they give us. You have a balancing board, a spare charging lead that you can put whatever you want at the end, and you have an XT60. This XT60 uh, is to be able to use your charger on a DC charger. I'll show you where you plug in in a second here. Now let's take this charger out of the box, close this box and put it aside. And let's unwrap this bad boy. It is a slim design, and let's show what the features on the charger itself. On the front of the charger, you'll have your main four buttons to access the menu inside. You have your balancing port, your temperature port, your main charging output. You have a USB that's 5 volt, 2.1 amps, high current charging to be able to charge your phone, your tablet, whatever you want to charge as long as it's USB and you have the USB link. Basically, you plug in the USB here to your computer, download the software from Hitech, you'll be able to have the same information on your screen on your computer. Now we flip the charger in the back. This is the XT60 where you're gonna plug this guy in right here to be able to plug it to on the uh, basic battery, uh, power supply, anything that will supply you a good 12 volts. You have your fan and you have your AC plug right here. Now the AC plug is already plugged in source. What we're going to do, we're going to plug this guy in. And now basically what the charger is telling you here is warning. Never leave the charger unattended. Battery charging can be dangerous. Press enter to confirm you have read the manual and warning and understand them. Anytime you're going to use this charger from Hitech, it's going to give you this warning to make sure to let you know that never leave a LiPo battery, an IMH battery, any type of battery alone when you're charging. It is extremely critical that you don't. Uh, LiPo fires are could be dangerous, you can burn down your house, burn down whatever you've, you are charging with. Never leave them alone guys, please never leave them alone. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna hit enter here. First thing you see is program selection. This guy has up to 10 program. Program one could be a LiPo, program two could be an IMH, uh, program three could be uh, basically a LiPo again, but different, a four cell let's say instead of every time going in the chargers selecting what kind of battery you're charging you just select your modes 
uh, if you remember what mode you did, you just go and select your mode. Okay, this is mode five. Boom, press, press enter, you're done. She keeps everything. But now let's say for the first time setup. We're gonna set up the uh, mode one. We're gonna press enter. Now it's asking us what kind of battery type we're charging. We're pressing enter to select what kind of battery we want. With, let's say we want a LiPo, we're going to press enter. Now what, what battery to cell type, we're going to press enter to select it. Now let's say it's a four cell we're charging, press enter. Now it's going to ask us the mode we want it. We're going to press enter to select the mode. Now it's off the first time plugging it, it's going to be on charge. What we want to do is select the, what we want. Is it the charge? Is it a balance charge, a fast charge, a storage mode, or discharge? We say we want a balancing charge. We're going to hit enter. Enter again. Current. We're charging a 4 cell. Let's say we're charging a 5,000 4 cell. You could bring this guy up to 5 amps if you wanted to. Now I just hope you guys see this. Let's say we select five amps, then we just hit need to hit start. Now me personally, I charge every battery that I have. If it's over 2000 milliamp, I charge it at two amps. Even if it's a 5000, I charge at, five, at two amps. Now for demonstration, we'll leave it at this right there. And you just press enter and your charger will start charging. Now very important that you plug in this port and this port. You need to have two ports on your battery plugged in. Now you have your main power output of your battery and your balancing ports here. You could use the board if you wanted to. You don't need to, this is just basically an extension. What you can do is if you grab your balancing leads here, try to put this guy away, you'll have your main ground cell one, cell two. As long as you match it with the charger here, negative, plug in your battery, your balancing port is plugged in. Now you plug the other guy right here. That could be a Dean's, could be an XT60, AC3, uh, XT90s. There's multiple kind of connections out there. But as long as both are plugged in, hit start, your charger will charge. And again, when you're charging a battery, never leave them alone, guys. Always keep an eye on them. Something happens, you hear a pop, put everything outside. I don't want your house to burn down. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit the like button in the corner here. Uh, if you have any questions, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, guys.